Hi everybody, thanks for watching Dana of All Trades. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite things, Christmas! I want to talk about my Christmas village specifically. I put my Christmas village up recently and as I was going along, I thought of a few helpful tips for you when you're setting up your village. The first tip is if you are new to the Christmas village life, don't worry, just remember to start small. So I actually started my Christmas village last year and I only had a few pieces, but since then I've acquired double last year and my village is just gonna keep building and building. So if it's your first year, don't feel like you have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on this immaculate village. Just buy a few things here and there and build over time. My second tip is when you are assembling your village, think about creating levels. So I actually just used the box that pieces of the village came in and I turned it over, covered it in snow, and then put the pieces on top of it. That way each piece can be properly displayed and nothing is hiding behind anything else. And it just makes the village feel a lot fuller. The third tip is to make sure that your village makes sense to you. So it didn't make sense to me to put a pawn shop right next to a residential building. So instead I have all the homes, all the camping in one side, all the businesses in the other, and then a park in the middle. My last tip is whether you are gifting a piece of the Christmas village or you're buying it for yourself, it makes it more special if that piece has some sort of sentiment to you. A lot of the pieces in my village have a lot of meaning behind it. One piece I actually bought for myself is a water tower. My nephew Abram is obsessed with water towers, so when I saw it, I just had to buy it. It had to be in my village. My family and I love camping. We take an annual family camping trip every year. So of course my dad gifted me a camper. Another piece I really love is a saltwater taffy factory. My best friend just gifted this to me for my birthday and I am a candy fiend. I have never met a candy store I didn't like, but specifically taffy. I just love it. So I thought that was super thoughtful. Another piece I really love is this grilled cheese food truck that my brother gifted me. We both really love grilled cheese and then we ran into a grilled cheese food truck in Chicago and it was the best grilled cheese I've ever had in life. And then randomly he found a grilled cheese food truck so it was pretty perfect. All the pieces that had that little extra thought put into have made such an impact and those are the ones that I cherish the most. So those are just a few tips that I've picked up while assembling my Christmas village. I always wanted one, I finally started it, and now it's one of my favorite activities to do. It's just another tradition that we can celebrate year after year and it's gonna keep growing. So it's always evolving and it's always changing and that's really exciting. I hope you found these tips helpful. Please share your Christmas villages with me. I would love to see them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy early Christmas. <laughs>